Yeah. The rewards of self belief have turned me into an addict. Yeah. Girls cheating, being hoes has turned me into a savage. What's going on, guys? I'm Coco here with another video for you today. And today, we're going to be looking at my collection of books. Now, books may not be an ordinary thing to be having a collection of or to be looking at. But uh, in order for me to go through my college years and all that, I have certain books I need to read, certain books that I have to buy, certain books I have to rent, certain books I have to, you know, have just to pass the class in order to, you know, move on with my life and get out of college. But yeah, I know just a couple days ago I looked at my All American Reject collection, which uh, honestly I'm recording on the same day because if I don't get it done all in one day I'm probably not gonna get it done but yeah we're looking at the collection of books and we're gonna start off with some of the books that I had to buy uh, last year for my poetry class now if, if you're a fan of this channel if you know me personally you know that I like writing poetry and first book I had to get was the poet's companion which if you are an aspiring poet if you want to get into poetry Read this book. This book will help you tremendously. I've already read it through and through. Probably gonna read it again. I love reading the books. I love reading uh, the examples it gives. I love reading everything about this book. This book is uh, it's basically a textbook, but it's written like a how-to type of book. Giving you prompts, giving you examples of certain stories of, of certain things of certain uh, metaphors you can use throughout your poetry because even though poetry is a subjective art even though it's, it could be abstract even though it could be metaphorical and even though it can be simple most people don't realize how much of an art it really is certain things make a poem a poem certain things don't hold a poem back from being a poem i've seen poems written in stanzas i've seen poems written like they were blocks i've seen poems written like they were novels and you know i've once read a short poem that was like three and a half pages long yes that's a short poem and it was written like it was a book it was written in such a way that it was that the way you look at it it looks like a book but it's actually a poem because of the vernacular they use but yeah if you're an aspiring poet get this book I will list all the authors and all the uh, titles of books in the description below so go ahead look for that and uh, moving on the first uh, book I read in the poetry class was Black Aperture by Matt Rasmussen now this is a very dark book this is so if you're not into you know dark material if you're not into seeing depression and all that I don't recommend getting this book but if you want to tread into that territory, if you want to, if you're into that type of dark material, not for like comedy's purpose, but just to see how someone deals with a uh, depression and how they deal with uh, their brother's suicide, you get this book. This book is amazing. I love end to end, just so many good poems and I'll read, I'll read one right now. This is from the second part of the book, page 37. This book is only about 64 pages, not even a novel, you know. X. Like crime, a privacy invades itself, commits the end. And then eternity inside the silence of a tree. If I could relight your ashes, I would. If you torch a forest, it grows right back. That's the poem right there. So yeah, if you guys want to read something uh, such as that nature, by all means, link in the description, or not link, but uh, title and name of the author in the description. Amazing book, Black Aperture. The next book is uh, Domestic Work by Natalie Trezeway. This uh, poetry is based off of pictures that this uh, woman saw. So this woman went and uh, went to look for uh, pictures of people working. 
So it's obviously titled The Masterwork because of that. And every poem is different because it's based on the picture she was looking at while writing the poem. And I've done similar things to that, such as one day I was riding in the bus uh, last year. I believe it was exactly a year ago today when recording this. That I was on the bus and I was passing by uh, Spring Street. And I was uh, looking at uh, certain uh, homeless people on the street and how they had like this whole little family they uh, came together and they spent Christmas together and it was just amazing and yeah you know <laughs> but yeah certain things like that I like this book because it tells you to kind of look deeper build a backstory for certain people and as an actor myself that helps a lot so domestic work by Natalie Trethaway. Natalie Tr Natasha. God damn, I can't get her name right. Natasha Trethaway. Very sorry, but recommend the book. Very amazing. The last one was the one I was getting it wrong. When my brother was in Aztec by Natalie Diaz. There's the cover right there. I'll give you all in-depth uh, close-ups. Not in-depth necessary, but I'll give you close-ups of the covers. So you know what to look for. But when my brother was in Aztec, Natalie Diaz. We never got to this in a poetry class, but I read it on my own time. And this girl's style, this woman's style in her poetry is honestly amazing. It, 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 it weirds me out because I usually write freeform and without certain expectations from uh, my poetry. And I usually end off on a weird line. But when it comes to this girl's poetry, she has such a different style that just brings me into it. Certain, uh, there's certain content to every poem. Such as this one right here, Hand Me Down Halloween. You know, it's written with dash, uh, with uh, forward slashes after every line and it's, it's honestly so weird, but it's so amazing when you look at it. Yeah, there's that. Then there's these books. These books I recently bought from the last bookstore in uh, Los Angeles. It's literally called the last bookstore. It's not the last bookstore in Los Angeles, but the, uh, I recently bought these books. I bought one of my favorite books of all time and I bought a new book of poetry, which I'll show you first. Stuff I've Been Feeling Lately by Ashley Cook. Alicia Cook, sorry. Alicia Cook, Stuff I've Been Feeling Lately. And it's been like that. And then on the back side is, and I love this, that they did this, that she did this. It's the remixes. So it has 92 poems. Just making sure. Yeah, 92 poems that she wrote. All while, while listening to certain tracks of music. Uh, which she lists right here. So, in one of the uh, one of the poems, she was listening to Kendrick Lamar, "Bitch Don't Come My Vibe," which I wouldn't listen to that if I was uh, planning to write a poem. But hey, you know, whatever floats your boat, whatever gets you to write. You know, I highly recommend writing every now and then. Even if you say you're not good at it, please go write something because writing is just so therapeutic. Writing is so amazing once you get your feelings out in a certain way. You can write anything you want you can write haikus you can write just essays and it feels good just to get it out of your system just to express yourself in a different art form and that's why some people like music that's why some people like writing some people like uh, doing other things like i don't know skateboarding <laughs> you know it's certain things people love people like making video games people love playing video games such as myself you know i got my nintendo switch right there and all that but yeah 92 poems in the first half and then those 92 are then again rewritten by crossing out certain parts of the poem and circling certain words to make the poem new so i'm looking at track 59 i will read the original one the original track 59 says, I want a busy kitchen with a small fingerprint smudges on the refrigerator door. I want a crowded bed where all nightmares disappear. 
I want to jump in the cold pool or ocean and still smile. I want early Christmas mornings with stockings held by the chimney with care and little voices whispering, Santa came. I want to be a third, some, a 30 something year old in the pointy cardboard birthday hat. I want my homemade chicken noodle soup to cure colds and my band-aid kisses to heal knee scrapes. I want to freeze moments in cement. I want to learn to swim again. Skip through the sprinklers again. Welcome the Tooth Fairy again. And make Seth and Sam castles again. I want to believe in magic again. I want to be born again. That was the original poem. And this is the remix, which Ashley, uh, Alicia Cook, sorry, keep calling you Ashley. Alicia Cook wrote, I want to disappear and make magic. So a very vast majority of that poem was left out in order to make a new poem. And I love that uh, the idea of that. It's a different style that I've never seen before and honestly one that I fell in love with and I've never, I haven't even read all the poems in the book yet. And I, I love it so far, it's, it's amazing. And uh, if you know me, you know, probably one of my favorite books of all times is Catcher in the Rye. Now, I know some people may be rolling their eyes because, yeah, we had to read it in like ninth grade or something or, you know, whenever. But when you look at this book, it's just amazing. It is honestly one of my favorite books it's about Holden Caulfield and his crazy weekend in New York City and Manhattan and just... It's amazing. It's a very good book. I definitely recommend it. And when I was in the last bookstore the, uh, about a week ago, about a week ago, week ago. I'm weird. But yeah, when I was in the last uh, bookstore about a week ago, I wanted to get another book, which is, uh, what's it called? The Great Gatsby. I, I, why do I forget these names? It's The Great Gatsby, and I wanted to get that book because The Catch and the Rye and The Great Gatsby are probably my favorite books of all time. And it's amazing to just have something you love and have it right there in the back. You know, in the background of my videos, just, just to have it, you know? <laughs> but yeah, that's my collection for now. I have some other books that uh, I don't want to show because, you know, they're for school, they're textbooks, you know? <laughs> Yeah, that, yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I'll probably cut it down. I've been recording for about, what, 13 minutes I've been recording now, so I'll let you guys go. Until next time, guys. I'll see you later.